Hellraiser Judgment is in stores right now on Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, follows the horrible, horrible Hellraiser that came out a few years ago. This time we have another guy playing Pin, uh, Pinhead. Excuse me. Don't really know his name offhand, but he's no Doug Bradley. But at the same time, he's at least way better than the last guy that did it. So we'll give him that much. Uh, the plot here is a little complex, but it's not horrible. I'm not saying we're anywhere within the first three Hellraisers, but it's not horrible. Uh, it starts off, and there's this guy. He's killing people, and he's doing it with like this religious, you know, tone to it. Like the, I believe it's the, you know, the the, the seven deadly sins method. He's basically killing them in that style. Uh, police are looking for this person, but at the same time, there's this old house here, and people go there or get took there where they face Pinhead's new buddies and then ultimately stand judgment and see if they're going to get torn apart or whatever happens to them. There's some pretty freaky things happens to them there. There's some pretty weird, weird characters in this one. There's some of them that actually might out with Shine Pinhead, believe it or not. Uh, John Gallagher, who played, uh, or he did, he plays a character in this. He plays like the, uh, the guy that's got to eat the sins of the, of the people and pass verdict on him. He was the director of Feast. He has a role here, a very gross role. This, this uh, movie seems to want to gross you out more than anything else is there's a couple of moments in this one that really make you want to puke so if you got a weak stomach this one may be hard to watch in spots our main two detectives they're okay uh nothing to write home about but they're okay there's a female detective that joins them she's just okay as well the movie ends up being fairly decent um nothing's gonna blow you away but there's some good gore there is some gross moments the characters are pretty cool as far as like the you know the uh pinhead's buddies we should say they're all they're all here the ones you have seen and some new ones they're cool uh the plot get, maybe gets a little bit too on the religious side towards the third act but i understand what they're trying to do and it's it's at least different which is more than we can say for the last one so if you like the hellraiser movies don't completely write this one out because doug bradley isn't in it because it goes into some new areas and some of the areas are pretty entertaining and work pretty well uh Pinhead's nowhere near Doug Bradley, but whoever will be. Besides that, if you like Hellraiser, like I said, you'll probably like this. If you don't, then you're probably not going to like it. I myself, I like the first three, and next to them, I thought this one's probably the better one out of the rest of them that was out, out of the millions of them, it seems, that came out after the first three. So I liked it enough, so I'd give it a, a recommendation if you like Hellraiser. So that's Hellraiser Judgment in stores right now.